prendi questo mio strale. Yeah, it was beautiful. Prendi. Beautiful. I would never say that. I would say prendi. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I could see that you were trying to do the open. You were like... <laughs> <laughs> it's the first thing that you did that was like that was uh, yes I, I need to do this because this is the right way <laughs> let, let me read it right <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, sometimes my, my husband is from Naples you know and he pronounces uh, the, the word fire he says fuoco fuoco if I ask anybody from Naples to say fuoco like which is the supposed to be right one they say fuaka <laughs> because they don't they don't manage the, or if if anybody uh, who is uh, used to say bene when they speak and you tell them say bene they say bene it sounds quite like an uh, i an italian e american i so it's it's it, we are not so good at changing vowels when we're used to so even the sound of singing changes and it's not good sometimes. Maybe it's better to keep our accent because the sound could be affected negatively, you know? Well, the same thing happens in the U.S. because if you go east on the east coast, there's a difference in pronunciation. Harry, you know, Peloso, right? Harry and Harry, right? The name. So the proper name, Harry, Harold, right? But when you, get, when you get as far west as Ohio, they start to say Harry as the name. Harry, Harry, no difference. And if you ask somebody to say Harry, they think it sounds so um, weird, like so as if you're being a snob. And they, they, have a hard, they have a hard time accepting it because it's just not natural. And, you know, in, in their defense, that's how... They, they grew up speaking. So it's that thing where it's something that's not natural to, to them to do it. So that's the distinction you're, you're bringing up in Italian. You make me think of the word Harry Potter. We are often talking about this, these books. And I, I don't know how to pronounce the, the, the name Harry. Harry. I don't know how to do, to do that. How to say that. It, it's very hard for us to know that. Of course, you have your own um, pronunciation, your own accents, but this is not only Italy. This is America. This is uh, uh, Great Britain. It is Australia. It is the world. So if we don't know how to speak, <laughs> how to pronounce a consonant, it's a big problem because we are dealing with a lot of people. We're not just dealing with, uh, you know, Italy. <laughs> yeah, yes. and it is it is incredibly hard for us not to say funny things, you know. So I So well, I agree. every country was is, is a conglomeration of actually a bunch of different nations. And Italy is no exception to that. Right. Italy was only, uh, you know, only unified by the 1870s and had all these different languages. So it's the same. The U.S. has the, the U.S. has more what we call regionalisms. Uh, the things that you guys call dialects are actually different languages. They're not even the same language. Sicilian is a different language. A dialect is a language, but regionalism yes. is something we have. Oh, okay. When we speak Italian, we speak with regionalism, and everybody does. So a dialect is a language. Yes. For example, don't speak my... Um, my uh, hometown dialect. I don't speak it. it I, we, we didn't used to speak it at home, so I, I can understand it. I can say sentences, but I don't speak it. So I speak with a strong accent of my hometown, of course, uh, and this is a regionalism. This is not a dialect. It's, it's different because it is really another language. 
but we have them, yes, sure. Uh, you've made it to the end of another video, and you, if you feel you've benefited from our work and we've saved you uh, a lot of money, un sacco di soldi, why not head over to Patreon or subscribe star to support our work? Then you may donate as little as a couple dollars a month, and your support is very appreciated. YouTube is now um, propping up corporate channels and not small channels like us, so the best thing you can do is share, like the videos and tell your friends and subscribe. Um, so also uh, head over to Aelin's channel, Aelin Avila, uh, or my channel, John Mario, and there, we have other videos where we just, we just deal with the words. Um, and uh, as always, thank you for watching. Thank you so much. See you soon. Bye. Good singing.